Hello everybody, here's Mark. I'm in my VR garage and I want to walk you through what it's like to take one of our training courses, one of our training simulations in virtual reality, VR. I'm in the space right now, I have a headset on. I actually have my controllers in front of me. These are my two hands right here. And I've got my setup. What I'm going to do is show you what it's like to take one of our courses in virtual reality. The lesson is going to be mounting the revenue grade meter. So I've got a revenue grade meter enclosure here on the ground. I've also got some uh, wall anchors ready to go to be mounted. I've got my house set up with my window. I've got my nice yard set up in which I'm working. I've got my uh, main service panel already installed on the house, of course. We've already put up an AC disconnect, and now we're going to mount up the RGM. I'm going to step through this mostly just to show you the coolness of what it's like to be in virtual reality and do your training. I also want to show you uh, these are the controllers, so they're my hands. They're the cool interplay learning gloves. You can see those. If I twist my left wrist and bring it up, I bring up my instructions. It's right on my wrist. See, if I bring it up, boop, pops right up. You can read it pretty clearly. My hand gives me a pointing laser, which tells me where I'm pointing my hand at. It's red before I complete an action, and it turns green once I complete the action. And I want to show you something really cool. When I bring this up, I can click on the lock, boop and it locks it in space. So I can actually now have both of my hands free to work and handle tools and work on my stuff. And my instruction guide follows me around. <laughs> so I can actually have my instructions floating in space. If I take it back down, it's back on my wrist. If I want to come over here and put my instructions up here next to where I'm going to work, I just click it, leave them up in space. Very cool feature that we built in for you. I'm going to take that down for a minute. Let's get started with the steps, and I'll walk you through what it's like to take your training in VR. <clears throat> I bring my wrist widget up, rotate it. It says, in this lesson, you will mount the revenue grade meter. OK, thank you very much. I click on that with my right hand. My first step comes up. Measure and mark eight inches to the left from the top left corner of the AC disconnect by dragging the measuring tape. And you'll notice that now I've already got my measuring tape up. So I'm going to take my wrist widget down. I'm going to reach up here. Grab my tape, burn, and now you can see that I actually have hold of a tape measure, an Acme tape measure, <laughs> and I can measure out distances, and you can see the distance that gets measured out as I move the tape measure. I can move it around, almost like a piece of gum. In training mode, I've given a target. We make it easy for you to know where to go. So I'm going to try and stretch this out to eight inches and let go. And I did. I let it go. It goes back to about three, but it makes a mark on the wall that's eight inches out. That's my alignment that I would use to make sure that I have at least eight inches of space from one box to another, right? Now I bring up my wrist widget again here, and it's completed, so my next is now in full orange, and my laser is in green, so I'm going to click on it. it. Takes me to my next step, step number three. Place the revenue grade meter against the wall. So now you notice that every option in training mode, we highlight the uh, object that you're supposed to work with now, the Revenue grade meter is highlighted. I bring my hand in. What I'm going to do is mount it. So I'm just going to touch it. Boop. <laughs> and it gets mounted up against the wall. Oh, but it's not very level. So let's check it out. OK, so I click Next to proceed to my next step, Step sword. Level the RGM. And what I've given now is a level. This is in my hand. Here was my one hand. But my right hand has now turned into a tool. And I simply place, I would use my level here, and I would make it level. So I'm going to click, and I level my RGM. So I've done that. I'm going to move on to my next step. Mark the location of the mounting holes with a pencil. And now my right hand has turned into my pencil tool. That's me rotating my hand right there. And I'm given my targets. Like I said, in training mode, we tell you exactly where to work. So I simply take the tool, touch it to those points, and what it's doing is making a mark right there as I've made those. And I bring up my widget, and I say I've done that step. So next, so step six, pull the RGM away from the wall. OK, well, that's going to be cool. It's going to go right down here. So watch out. I'm going to just reach into it, click on it. Boop, there we go. It nicely rotates down onto the ground for me. So I'm going to bring up my next step here. Drill holes at the marked locations. Well, we made our marks, and now the step brings me up with my uh, drill driver. So I've actually got my own drill driver ready to go. Notice that it doesn't have a bit. So we've left those out for now. That's a feature that's going to come in the future. But uh, assume that you'd be using some sort of carbide tip drill to go into brick. Right? So I'm actually going to 
place it at each one of the targets, and when I do, it drills my hole. Drill it there. Sometimes you have to do things more than once. There's the fourth one, and I've made my four holes, and there's my tool ready to go. So now I'm going to click Next. The tool goes away, and my wall anchors come up. Insert the wall anchors into the hole. So these are my wall anchors. I'm going to step closer here, give you a sense of what we've got. There's the wall anchors just floating in space. In real world, wouldn't it be nice if they could just float right there? Well, in VR, that's what we can do. But there's my wall anchors, and they're going to be inserted into my holes. So what I do is I simply get my hand near it, click it, and I put a wall anchor into that hole. Click another one here. Sometimes you have to try it a few times. There we go. I'm trying to get my tool, my hand tool, right around the object. And I've put in my four wall anchors, you can see, into the wall. So I bring back up my step. Click on Next. Align the RGM with the wall anchors. So I'm going to, now again, it's highlighted. I'm going to be mounting it up here. So I'm going to reach down here and lift it up, boop, put it up, it's mounted up and lined with the holes. And I click on next, screw the bolts in. I'm gonna leave this tool up here. I'm gonna lock this in place. There, isn't that cool? Now my instructions are floating there and I've got both of my hands ready to go. And lo and behold, my right hand now has the drill, uh, the uh, impact driver that I need. It's got a socket driver already attached to it. And I'm given my targets of where I'm supposed to put in my bolts into my anchor. So I'm going to touch that in each one. And you can see that I've inserted a nice bolt into that location. I'm going to click on it each time. And it puts my bolts in place. And I've got them in place. I click on Next. Congratulations. You've successfully mounted the revenue grade meter. So that's how we complete all the steps involved in an interplay learning simulation training exercise. Pretty cool, huh?